XRP related legal reforms have worried social media users. A prominent XRP lawyer has cautioned that a jury may find XRP security in a separate trial from the SEC Ripple case. A uh, case from 2018 unrelated to the SEC Ripple case will be heard again. Um, there are several perspectives on this issue. For instance, some lawyers doubt XRP will be a security. A non-lawyer XRP community member often pretends to be one on YouTube for fun. How does this affect XRP holders? <sighs> this is a crucial question for most users. On social media X, two lawyers answered my inquiries. One lawyer discussed XRP's legal condition on XRP Victory Day, July 13, 2018. The XRP law became obvious that uh, several lawyers also commented. According to the story, a California judge will sue Ripple Securities, notwithstanding what a New York judge said. This is a class action, unlike the SEC case. Fred Rispoli claims he lost $600 or something incredibly insignificant when he bought XRP and sold it two weeks later. His claim that Ripple is to blame is absurd since the money wasn't there. Uh, in June of the following year, XRP attorney Fred Rispoli warned us to keep battling. He also warned that XRP may protect in this event. One plaintiff in the class action complaint claims they lost $600 investing in XRP. This charge relates to that case. His filing charges against Ripple was predicted long before he did it. This is now a class action lawsuit. XRP's legal standing is unclear and social media users are debating what will happen. Kearney Rossoe uh, examined Ripple in the Oakland class action. A judge granted Ripple a summary judgment petition on federal class claims for unregistered securities and state law securities claims. The class action lawsuit over XRP's security status has been settled. As we must decide if. All three hotel sections are met. The court added a single plaintiff's claim may be tried. To conclude, the court said the jury must decide if XRP is a security for retail users on an exchange because XRP will soon be legal in California, but not New York. The cryptocurrency community must keep pressuring the federal government to legalize cryptocurrencies. Everything you need to know about XRP, please give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and join our community before we start. Security with XRP is planned for California, but not New York. Cryptocurrency workers are scared and don't understand. An attorney for Ripple community member Bill Morgan answered, what would happen if Judge Torres determines XRP is not a security, but a California jury rules it is? Programmatic sales could be a different holding. Ripple invented this word, which the SEC used in the case. Thus, the judge used it in SEC versus Ripple. He considered automated sales a separate holding, programmatic sales of XRP by Ripple allowed conventional cryptocurrency marketplaces to trade the cryptocurrency where you and I could acquire it. Ripple contracts that offer investments are difficult since we don't know who makes our purchases. Regarding Sec Ripple, this would eventually benefit all extra holders. Finally, consider the exact information used in each scenario. It appears that Judge Hamilton and Judge Torres received different information about XRP's price factors. Consider this while writing to Lawyer Rasai. In the end, the Ripple case in the Oakland class action raises questions about how clear California XRP legislation is and how it might affect ordinary Americans in any state. The book discusses XRP as protection and how it can affect Ripple. Rizzoli predicts that California will classify XRP as a security. Attorney Morgan claims that XRP sales are the issue, not the coin. Uh, even if this difference is fair, the author wonders how a normal XRP buyer could make money from Ripple without buying XRP from them. Lawyer Morgan thinks Judge Hamilton may evaluate Ripple's XPR more than Judge Torres. Consider this. Uh, Judge Hamilton is hearing additional promotional comments, and the case can only proceed because Garlinghouse reported being long XRP. This Garlinghouse remark made when the company sold millions of XRP is incorrect. The author doesn't predict XRP's future value in this comment. The author discusses his views too. He believes that Brad Garlinghouse was selling XRP at an all-time high, but it may have become too much of his net worth, so he should sell it. However, the author believes the suit might sell all of XRP if its price hits a particular threshold. <laughs> when someone complains that XRP will be worth more in the future, that doesn't mean the author agrees. Another compensation package issue is Brad Gehringhouse's XRP and lower income. His riskier pay plan included this. Uh, when he joined Ripple, XRP was worth roughly a half dollar. No one knew what would follow. It was dangerous for him to work it as part of his income because he was taking on greater risk straight now. Uh, 
Judge Hamilton seems unaware of the SEC case's expert witnesses. Mm -hmm. This testimony states that XRP's price has followed Bitcoin and Ethereum for years and is unrelated to Ripple's favorable pronouncements. Uh, Judge Torres undoubtedly discussed market patterns when assessing programmatic buyers' expectations, which affected this information. The writer believes the main question is whether judges can assess if XRP or its sales are a security. Clarity is crucial to whether judges have the information they need to make the proper Ripple project decision. The 2020 SEC complaint against Ripple differed from California securities. Ripple officials are accused of securities fraud. Mark Fagel was an SEC attorney. He expects the case to differ from the SEC's, even if Ripple breaks the law. It may not matter. Remember that the California case only involves Ripple executive securities fraud charges. Besides the claims, XRP owners face no additional concerns in the lawsuit. Thus, this new trial is predicated on a 2018 lawsuit. Judge Tor ruled that XRP is not an investment. Federal Judge Tories, XRP community members ask if XRP has clear legislation and if Tors' decision doesn't influence other states. Lawyer Fred Roll says Ripple's legal clarity through Judge Torres matters. The SEC alleges federal securities law violations, which is the main reason. Two Southern District of New York cases aren't before the SEC, so other courts don't have to worry about them. A victory but not a national one. Ripple will always maintain that the SEC loss applies to all federal securities problems concerning XRP, even though the case is still pending. Ripple believes this will have a major impact on other courts and their outcomes. I agree, but it's not a no-brainer. Uh, these lawyers disagree slightly, but it doesn't appear to affect our case. A California judge ordered a trial for Ripple's civil securities fraud case. The judge denied part of the cryptocurrency company's summary judgment request. The business alleges that Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse violated state securities laws in 2017 in a prior 2017 TV appearance with Rio. The jury will be asked if Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse lied about security sales. They'll find him guilty. But first, they must make sure XRP passes the hoe test. One of the most significant lessons is this. They want Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse to be found guilty by the judge. Ripple CEO Stu Alderati is concerned about Garlinghouse's class action securities complaint. The lawsuit claims the business sold millions of XRP on cryptocurrency exchanges in 2017 in violation of California securities regulations. In court papers, Ripple's lawyers argued that the lawsuit should be dismissed because XRP is not a security under the Howey test. Because of this, XRP cannot be used to sue for fraudulent security comments. The U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California's Judge Phyllis Hamilton rejected all class action allegations. However, the trial will decide whether the one state law claim is allowed to proceed. In a parallel lawsuit in the Southern District of New York, U.S. District Court Judge Annalisa Torres concluded that XRP sold directly to average people on cryptocurrency exchanges did not meet both Hawaii tests. Hamilton advised Ripple's lawyers to agree with Judge Torres that XRP did not meet the Howey test. This makes me question whether platform buyers don't understand Ripple. What might you rely on Ripple for without knowing what it was? Many cryptocurrency enthusiasts believe the Peace Continues ruling would provide long-awaited regulatory clarification and serve as a model for other crypto securities cases. This video is over. Thank the person for liking and commenting on the video. It helps the way YouTube works. Share this video with a lot of people to get the word out.